So they've been introduced Yay. to each other here at the Calgary Zoo in the hopes that eventually we will actually have lemur babies from those two. Because black and white ruffed are critically endangered in the wild, and we do want to protect that species. So we're hoping to have anywhere from two to six babies in a litter in the next couple of years from those two lemurs. So we're waiting and watching to see how they get introduced to each other. Hopefully they get to like each other and it will work just fine. So we finally got some lemurs moving around up there. You can take a good look at them. You see those long tails swinging down there? Those tails are designed to keep them well balanced. Now you might notice one of them has a stubbier tail than the rest. Her name is Joanna. She's a young one. We can move right up here if you guys want to get a closer look at them. You don't have to stay all the way back here. I'm pooping. The rest of her name is Joanne. She's the oldest of our ringtail lemurs. She's 16 years old now. And she's a bit more independent than most of the others. You often see her straying off a bit from us in the family unit. The other six all tend to stay quite close to each other because there is safety in numbers. Our ringtails are quite adventurous, but they do like to have the company of other ringtails around them. They're pooping. Why are they going to? Oh my god. <laughs> So, as the other group gets ready to move out, we're going to start sliding in just behind these guys. Just so we can get a better look at them. Let the next group come in behind us. Just keep an eye on the side because you don't want to leave her actually with the on top of you. You see them making a great board. Yeah, they just jumped over the Now this also gives a really good chance to take a look at the interior of the exhibit. So this is the Winter Lemur's winter and overnight clothing location. So that's where they will be spending most of their evenings. And with any time the temperature drops below about 15 to 20 degrees Celsius, they're going to be going inside that. It's on the window. Remember last week on Tuesday, we had that big rainstorm come through. It's kind of wet breeze below here. So the lemurs spent the entire day inside that building. In the afternoon, it started to clear up. We did open the window so they could get out if they wanted to. I think it was about 19 degrees Celsius. One lemur poked its nose outside about a minute and said, No, this is stupid. I'm not going out. And went back inside. They spent the whole day inside. Lemurs in Madagascar, their temperatures are averaging about 25 to 30 degrees Celsius. So this whole 19 degrees Celsius stuff, we're not going to get this are you videotaping it now? It's okay, you can video. You say yes? Larger scale. So this is our lemur exhibit here at the Calgary Zoo. We are looking to protect these species. So there's 104 different species of lemur in Madagascar, all of which are endangered in some way, shape, and form. The biggest of that, the biggest person in danger lemurs, is about the last 3,000 years. 80% of the natural habitat on Madagascar has been lost to the expansion of that area. So what are the things you do when you guys come visit us here at the Calgary Zoo? Some of the money that you guys spend is going back to helping the two local people from Madagascar to look to protect the lemur habitat on that island. So you guys, just by visiting us today, are actually helping the lemurs in the wild as well. Thank you very much for that. It should take about another minute here. You guys can take a few more looks at pictures of the lemurs. They're going to move out so that they can come in and join us. If you guys have any questions, just come over and say hello. Fire away if you have any. And we'll get moving out of here in a minute. Just the next group can come in and join us. But thank you very much. Have a great afternoon. Let's go. Just got to stay on this side of the rope there, buddy. Good morning.